Hey guys, just wanted to show you what uh, I've been up to. I've been playing around with a fun experiment, uh, which is basically kind of a replication of Thane Heinz's bitoroid um, setup, um, except I'm not using a bitoroid. I'm just using my uh, resonant rod, which is just set up uh, in a different way and I seem to be getting the same result. So this is just uh, my first setup and experiment and it seems to be working well and I thought it would share it with you. So basically I've got the power supply which is the um, battery charger going into the PWM. The PWM is going into one side of my bifiler coil uh, which is acting like a transformer. The other side of the bifiler coil is coming out and going into a bridge rectifier and the bridge rectifier is going into the light bulb. So I'm going to turn it on and just show you what the power consumption is um, when the system's turned on without the light. So it's the power required to run everything and uh, the power going into the bifiler coil and then I'll show you what happens when I actually put a load on it so the f this is going to be first without a load and I'll show you the consumption and then I'll show you uh, with a load and you can see the difference so let me back up and hit the button so right now we're at about 0 0.41, 0 0.42, which is going into the resonant rod. There's my setup. There's my coffee cup, some junk, and uh, power supply. And there's the light that we're going to be using. So right now, we're using that going into the PWM and coming out into the resonant rod. The resonant rod is coming out. There's a few details I didn't add here, and is going into a few uh, MOSFETs, and then the outside, like this side, uh, the output of the um, resonant rod is going into bridge rectifier, and the bridge rectifier is going into that light, which is a pretty powerful light, actually. So let's back up so you can kind of have a look here. And now I'm going to flick the switch, so pay attention to what we're at there. Let's turn the light on. It's kind of tricky with one hand here. Light is on. Pretty much full brightness. And the power has actually dropped. which is supposed to be impossible so this is um, with load right now I'll turn it off and that's without load All right My hand in here with load without load. So again, that's just uh, using one bifiler rod set up basically in that configuration that's on the picture. Uh, plus or mi minus um, some capacitors, magnets, and uh, a few MOSFETs. But that's the general setup right there. Um, again, when the uh, um, light is or load is disengaged, we actually consume more power than we do when the light is engaged. So, you know, it's a pretty cool effect and uh, um, hopefully I can apply this to something else, but this is the first video and I thought I'd share it with you guys. <coughs>